Well, football coach uh, Scott Schaefer, uh, certainly part of a, a big day here. Schaefer, uh, your thoughts on uh, Mark Coyle and all this transpired here? Well, it's great to have Mark and Kristen and their family uh, as part of the uh, Syracuse family now. I'm excited to get to know them better and, uh, you know, really just to get to work with them. Had some very good friends that have worked with him in the past and uh, one at Boise State. And uh, it just excited to hear about uh, the way he operates and uh, really his values. And his values align uh, with the things I believe in, things that the chancellor believes in, and uh, that's a great place to start. The one thing that to me that came clear in his press conference and what we've done some research on him is that he gives the tools, right? Is that what your research and diligence is, is finding out that whatever coaches want to be successful, he tries to deliver? Yeah, and I think that Mark understands um, at, yeah, at each institution you're going to have a different formula and you got to look backwards to see what has worked and what hasn't worked and then put those tools in place to attack it so you can go to the highest levels. And uh, Mark understands that. And, I just look forward to sitting down and, and getting started with them. And he comes from a place where aren't they among the most forward-thinking places, right? Boys, they do. Uh, everybody knows about the blue turf, but they're you know leading the way in these satellite camps and some other things that uh, they seem to have had to work out of the box because of uh, some unique circumstances in their case. That's right. And you know, with my years in mid-major football, you know, we always looked at Boise State. My first, my first full-time uh, job at uh, the University of Rhode Island. We played at Boise, and uh, I thought they were ahead of the curve then, and they continue to do so in the last 25 years. And, uh, you know, it's good to know uh, that he's got that background. What's important to you to have from an athletic director, and what will you be seeking from uh, Mr. Coyle and your relationship with him? Well, I think more than anything is just to realize uh, what we are, where we are now, where we want to be, embrace who we are, and understand that um, trying to fight your way up to, uh, you know, uh, be competitive in this conference takes change agents. It's not just the surface change uh, on the recruiting uh, trail, but the things that can set up the recruiting trail. Because at the end of the day, it's about the people that are playing. And uh, he understands that. Uh, Coach, well, you, you've been here long enough to have gone through progression. Jay Crowdhamel, Daryl Gross, and now Mark Coyle. What do you look for in an athletic director? And what do you think you have here? Well, uh, you know, I look forward to basically communication with an athletic director, and it sounds like Mark making it perfectly clear that that's what he wants with his coaches and, and with his student athletes. And I thought he came across very well. Uh, you know, high energy level, obviously, he's willing to put the hours in. Uh, I like the fact that he talked about all athletes here and all coaches and all sports here at Syracuse, and uh, he wants them to, you know, have his values, uh, honesty, and integrity, and he wants to give them the things they need to be successful. He talked about travel, and he wants them to be, travel first class, so uh, all those things. You know, he doesn't come from any school that has any background on lacrosse, which is probably not surprising, but uh, do you find that that philosophy that he has applies across the board and would uh, help your sport? Well, I would hope so. I, I think that uh, uh, he obviously talks about uh, honesty and integrity, so uh, I'm sure that's, that's what he's all about. And uh, I look forward to uh, educating him about uh, Syracuse lacrosse and talking to him about our facilities, our needs, and, and what our program is all about. He said he reached out to all the coaches prior to uh, arriving here in his press conference. Uh, what can you share about your conversation, even if it may have been brief? Well, I haven't had a conversation with Mark yet. I, I checked my phone. There's some unfamiliar numbers there, so he may have tried to call. Uh, but I look forward to talking to him. Now with women's basketball coach Quentin Hillsman, and you, you were on the uh, round of phone calls that Mark Coyle made as he was uh, getting his feet wet here. Uh, what types of things were expressed immediately, Q? Well, I think the, the most encouraging thing was that he knew about our program. So. We just talked about where we were and where we've been and, and our uh, success. And, and it was very encouraging to have someone call you in their first conversation. They, they know who they're talking to and they, and they understand where we're going and, and where we've been. So, so for me, that, that was just the most encouraging part of our conversation is that he, he understands us and he understands our program. You are in a position where you were brought on by Dr. Gross into your position, elevated your program into prominence. So I'm sure any sort of change is concerning because of the momentum you have. How do you express to Mark Coyle how you want to go about <coughs> continuing that momentum? Well, obviously, I know the momentum is about players. It's about getting the, getting, the, getting, the, getting the right athletes into your program. And for me, it was just talking about just recruiting. I think the biggest thing they said today in there was 
about recruiting and having first class operations and programs and, and that's what it's all, all about if you're going to win at this level being able to get the top players in the country to be able to do things in a, in a first class manner so that, that was very encouraging. Do you ask around among your friends in the industry uh, of what uh, Mark Coyle's done at the places you spend, Boise State, uh, Kentucky, and, and what uh, info did you get back? Well, have not. I haven't, haven't really heard much. You know, this this, this kind of happened quickly. So, so obviously, from that from that standpoint, it happened over a weekend, and and just just didn't get much information. And and, and again, it's going to be about the, about the, about what I see. It's going to be about the experience, experiences. That I have. So for me, it wasn't that in, that important to have that information. I think it's going to be important for this day forward.